My name is Unite the Clans, and in today's building episode, we are going to tackle a old-style ranch house, and we are going to do it in the absolutely picturesque Redwood Forest. Stay tuned. What is going on, guys? Unite the Clans here, back in your life, and I am coming at you from the amazing Iron Mind server. If you are brand new to this channel, welcome. Uh... I know a lot of new people have tuned in lately thanks to some of the great videos that uh, or the videos that I made for uh, patch 243. So if you are brand new from that, welcome. If you have been here for a while, you recognize this place. This is my cabin. This is the first thing I built on this island, and I built it next to a really picturesque tree. That picturesque tree is now gone. In fact, a lot of the trees on my island are now gone because of this game-breaking behemoth that is the titanosaur. Thank you all for watching that video, if you did, and thank you to those of you that subscribed because of it, but I gotta be honest, I hate this mother effer. I hate him. He earlier yesterday, I was gonna record this video yesterday. Get off me, dude. I don't know what he did to me. I'm stuck. There we go. I'm stuck. SOB. Okay, let's break this. Smash me into it. Okay, I think I should be free now. Yes, I was going to record this video last night for me. And that same night, one of these behemoths... By the way, this all used to be forest. All of it. One of these behemoths destroyed an entire base. And I think over the span of about a minute and a half, it killed 40 or 50 dinosaurs. We have a Team MOB on this server. They're a trio. They record together. One of them is Lady M. She plays this game a lot and loves it. The other two don't play all that much. And one of the other two thought it would be fun to punch this thing and it just wreaked all havoc. So the beautiful forest that ran down on my right and ended right up beside my gorgeous little cabin here that used to sit right next to a tree, um, it's gone. And uh, I can't get rid of this thing. I picked this spot because nothing dangerous spawns here. You get the rare alpha raptor, you get a few uh, spinos in the river, and the only thing that can knock down the forest that I, over the course of 35 frickin' episodes, have been carefully protecting uh, so that I can build around it and make it part of my beautiful builds on this island. Part, that forest, the only thing that could wreck it was Brontos. I see a Bronto kill on sight. That's my arch enemy number one. I can't kill this thing. The only way to knock it unconscious is to shoot it in the head with cannons or catapults. Let me turn up the brightness for all y'all. With cannons or catapults, and you gotta do it like hundreds of times. There's no way for a normal person to take one of these down. So I'm stuck with this thing. And it's wrecking everything. So we're gonna we're planning a build. Uh, the build materials. I don't even know my way around here anymore. There used to be a forest behind all this, which of course is gone. All right. So my my build for today, guys. We are gonna head into the redwoods and we are gonna build a ranch house. And I think in front of that ranch house, I'm gonna build a bear farm. I have this group of four bears. I tamed them up for racing, and we've never got around to racing them. I think it's because. Uh, our first race video with Gallimimuses didn't do crazy good for anybody, so nobody was eager to race again. Um, but that's what we're going to do today. I will take a minute while I prepare for that journey into the Redwoods over yonder and show you some of the destruction caused by this thing yesterday. And there will be a link near the top of my description to show you what it did to the team's base uh, that it wrecked yesterday. It was, it was a massacre, and I hate them. They've broken the game. There's nothing I can do to get rid of it, and it's going to strip every tree off this island, and I don't have the resources to refertilize this entire place. So uh, I guess this is going to become a wasteland. Um, it is what it is. Enjoy this clip of it destroying my favorite tree, and I will come back with you guys. All right, guys, I am prepped and ready to go. Uh, I just want to take a second. This all used to be forest down here. Basically, I lined these uh, thatch platforms all up along there, uh, and I was going to build my village into the forest here. And I've got some big plans. You can see we've got builds coming into place here, but I wanted to have houses going down where the you know, village lines the trees here, down onto the beach where we have our glass uh, shark uh, and... Uh, Diplo pen. Uh, I'm going to build a big barn and a workshop here with time. I've got a few ruins right there, uh, which you could definitely do something cool with. Maybe put them in the courtyard of a 
you know, giant hotel type building. We've got our cute little barn up here, but this is probably going to get wrecked. Um, I just want to take a second and show you what I'm planning for this place and what sort of destruction that Titano could cause if it continued to roam free. But I want to build a castle on these walls on these giant cliffs. Uh, so that's a project down the road, and I want to fill it with buildings. We obviously have a few projects to get to uh, before that one, including the one today. The thing we are going to do today, I say, as I explore the island and look at all the possible trees for this thing to wreck, uh, is work on a ranch. Uh, I want to build a ranch house type building and have a bear ranch. I think it's a neat idea, and I haven't seen anyone do it. Oh, here's another spot we got to plan a big build at. I've got this big flat hilltop and I placed all these foundations right before patch 238 when all this uh, ruins and whatnot came in. So we have a really cool thing where we got foundations intersecting ruins and we got to find a way to make the most of it. So that is another build for down the road. But today let's prep, uh, let's let this beast continue his reign of terror. Oh look, he left that tree. What a sweetie. What a nice guy. He didn't destroy everything I hold so dear. I'm not sure the crew on this server understood it. I mean, somebody earlier in the day lost like 40 dinos, but for me, the tames in this game aren't important. They're for the most part utilitarian. They get me from A to B and let me build beautiful things. And part of building beautiful things is building within, whoops, how to do that, within nature. And I had this perfect tree right here. Perfect. And I miss it. And he's going to continue his reign of havoc. So let's get out of here. And maybe while I'm not here, his, his reign of terror will stop. But what I've done is loaded up my quets with basically everything we need to build the ranch house itself. And then after that, for the second half of this episode, we're going to take that team of bears and we're going to lead them over land and into the redwoods. And uh, when we do so, they're going to have the gear to make a sort of a... Uh, I don't know what you call it, a field, a pasture. Uh, so we've got fences and fence foundations and a big gate, and we're going to use those to create a little uh, bear ranch area. Maybe I can even breed those bears. They're low level, but um, I've kind of realized bears make awesome pack animals. I have parasaurs right now as pack animals, and I'm wondering if those bears are going to be better. They have like a base. Uh, most of those guys I tamed between level 4 and level 24. They were all real low level tames um, and their carry weight is in like the 700s. So uh, I am going to uh, navigate through these woods to our spot and we are going to start construction on an amazing ranch house. But I wanted to share with you my plans for the future because I know a lot of you folks are new and uh, we are going to check out the spot in here. So let me get there and I'll show you the spot I'm thinking of building. So the crew here on the Iron Mine server, we had originally set up our home base here in the Maw, and this didn't used to be, obviously, a redwood area. And it's been taken over by those redwoods. It's like everything that was once here has grown back, and you have new redwood trees, this amazing log bridge. We're going to spend an episode in the near future hanging out here, too. That's my problem. I got too many episode ideas. But the spot I've chosen overlooks this ever so slightly, and I think it's far enough away from my tribe mates' bases not to cause them trouble or give us frame rate issues. And I've gone ahead and got us started with some thatch foundations. And they've been up for a day now because I rage quit after that titano broke my favorite tree. Um, but we are going to start with a ranch house, and I'm pretty sure whatever materials aren't in beast here are in this chest. Uh, whoop, this chest. So we're good to go. Um, so in a traditional style of a ranch house, guys, is long and fairly low. And um, what you get is usually verandas on either side. So that's the goal I'm going for. I am going to keep this thing minimal because I don't plan. Whoops, I wanted to destroy that, not right on it. No, nope, let me destroy you. There we go. Uh, I wanted to... Uh, just make a cute little spot here and have a spot near the maw where we can hang out if we decide to build up that redwood village that has already started over there. Uh, but for the time being, we're going to get started, and step one is stone foundations. Now, the building that I've built uh, is six foundations long and two wide, and then these are ceilings off to the side. But I'll show you how we incorporate those later. So I only have ten foundations. I'm pretty sure the other two are hiding in beast here. He is just crammed full of stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started laying those down. Um, we are just going to replace what's here, and then I think we're actually going to attempt. It's been a bit buggy of late, but it seems like it's working fine now. We are going to dive straight into uh, 
putting a seal, no, a ceiling. I'm gonna say, I think we're gonna try and put ceilings over top of these fountains uh, because I want a wood floor in here. I wouldn't mind the look and the durability of a stone foundation, but this is a ranch house. I want it to feel uh, cozy and warm and woody inside, if woody is an appropriate word for a house. Uh, so we've done that, and now we're gonna see how many ceilings I've brought. I think I stocked up. Never mind, I got them. The thing that I forgot, though, is the sloped ceilings for our roof. So we may have to make those in a haste, but uh, we are going to use wood. Now, the wood sits much lower than the thatch, so you won't be able to see where you're placing it if you're going to do this build for yourself, if you need a ranch house. Uh, I know I've had people asking me now for particular builds. Keep it up, guys. I can't promise I'm going to do the ones that you request of me, but I will do my damnedest to kind of fulfill the, the needs of you guys. If there's something that's not out there, if you're having trouble finding it on YouTube and you think old UTC can be the guy to take care of it for you, uh, I, I will try my best. Um, I know a few great builders uh, who play ARK on YouTube, and uh, I've been thinking lately about getting a server of builders together where... We can do what I'm talking about, where when you have a beautiful spot, you don't just flatten it and build a giant base. You work together to build something that is immersive and beautiful. Um, so here's what we do next, guys. Right over top of the stone foundations, go ahead and... Whoa, see, I told you it's buggy. It was... Okay. So I guess we're going to have a, a stone floor. Uh, I brought all these extra roofs because I thought we were going to be able to replace these. It looks like you can. And then you click it and nothing happens. That used to work. Uh, so obviously this is a game that's in early access, still in development, and they're working on it. So what we're going to do next then is jump into walls. And our main floor is going to be all stone. So let's go ahead and put these wooden ceilings back. And we'll grab a couple stone door frames and some reinforced doors. And we will get to work. So I've got four door frames. Now I did that because this place is built on an even number and whenever i played minecraft i like to go with an odd number so right in the center you can have your door uh, in arc it tends to work the same way so if you're gonna if you want symmetry and you've decided to uh build with an even length of your phone i think that's the right spot yeah so that's how we're gonna do it on this level we're gonna have the standard outer texture uh, that looks like a foundation Actually, you know what? I kind of want to flip that. Uh, let's let's see how this looks, because I do have extras. We don't necessarily need... Here, let's break that. We don't necessarily need multiple doors on the front of this house. Maybe you could have one on the front and one off to the side on the back. Uh, but this is a tricky game, so you want to make sure you're locking to the foundation, which we are now, and then flip it. For me, that's Q. For most people, I think it's E. I think that might look better, because the inside, you are going to get this kind of uh, stone, field stone look. And then on the outside, you were gonna have what looked like support. So now that we've got one in place, you can see how easy it is to lock onto the ceiling instead. So make sure, sure you are locking onto the founds, the foundations, and you get that. Uh, I think I wanted to build a door there, didn't I? All right, well, uh, all right, let's keep it going. Uh, let's switch over to the actual walls because I'm pretty sure I know where all of those are gonna go. And we will, um, jump into working on this thing. Um, I am going to go ahead and lay these in. I think what I'll do is a door here and a door here. And if I have one left over, I might do it down on the end or something like that over here. We'll see. Um, let me keep working on it and uh, I will come back to all y'all. Yeah, I think I'm going to like that. I think this is going to look good. Uh, so I'm going to keep this going, guys. I didn't do any windowed walls. You are welcome to if you're going to do this build yourself, but I wanted all the light to come on an upper level. Uh, I just want to show you this part because when you turn the corner, it's going to go back to the previous look where it's trying to put this found this texture, the normal one, on the outside. Uh, so every time you do, you're still going to have to flip it. Uh, it doesn't sort of learn. In some cases, it seems to, but at least uh, right now, it doesn't seem to be playing along. So keep an eye when you make the corner that you remember to flip and that it seems to be locking on properly. And you're gonna get a look that looks like that. This looks like it could support a another level above it. Uh, I think I like playing around with textures like that and flipping them. Uh, you get unique looks that don't come when you're just sort of building for utility's sake. 
Um, which, I mean, that's something that a lot of people, PVPers, are always doing. Uh, their main thing that they're thinking of is utility. Is this going to protect me? Are my dinosaur's tails going to stick through the walls? But PVE, which for me, that's the way to play this game. Play with a group of friends, or if you're someone like me who's a, a content creator, play with other content creators and try and live in a happy, harmonious place. You don't want to be waking up in the middle of the night with dreams of somebody kicking down your door. This is the way to do it, but I swear that Titanosaur has no place in PvE. I honestly don't understand it. And it ruined my day yesterday, and I shouldn't have let it, but uh, I definitely did. So I'm going to keep uh, keep walling this in. I'm going to put one door on the back. I'm going to put it off-center, uh, and um, we will go from there. All right, guys, so your place should be looking something like this. Place the doors where you want. Make the front what you want. You could totally even do the front down here what we're eventually going to have is an arched roof on top and extend that roof to cover these balconies so the next step is adding a second story now this is even optional because a lot of ranch houses have a low profile so what you're going to do now that we have placed all of these backwards these top ones are going to want to place backwards so press your flip button again and flip it and get yourself that outer texture and what it's going to look like is this beam supporting that upper level which extends ever so slightly further than the lower level so I'm gonna go around and line this entire upper section with windows it's going to take uh, 16 of them and I got 15 and we just placed one so let me go place those and then we're gonna move on to creating an arched roof perfect that's how it's supposed to look now you could honestly do it any way you like guys you could uh, flip it turn it uh, have this texture facing out on the wood part, have this texture facing out on the stone part. You could flip the ends uh, in wood so you get a different texture there. But if you build to make it pretty, if you build like me and you want to make something nice looking, uh, I like playing around with this kind of stuff uh, because you do get a different, slightly different style to it. So this is your cabin interior and the next step involves sloped stone roofs, which Oh, mother, that is going to drive me nuts. I couldn't live here. I'm going to have to get shorter. Uh, sloped stone roofs, which or sloped wooden roofs, I think is what I'm going to do. But you could also do it in stone. But this is the beginnings of your build. Now, before you move on to roofs, there is a very important step other than the doors, which we might as well throw in place while we're here. Go ahead and open that. Now, one thing I should say. Sorry, that is too annoying. Build short characters is better. One thing that happens when you flip walls is you sometimes get funky looking doors. And that one over there placed perfectly. And I wonder if it's because I placed it. What did I just do? Idiot. I think it's because I placed it from the outside. So I'm just going to be smart and place these from the outside. Sometimes what you get is this weird looking little gap of light right there. So before you get started on uh, the ceiling you're going to want to make sure you put some pillars in place so i'm going to grab the pillars we've got transfer that extra door and then the other thing you're going to need is some fence foundations and those of course let you lock pillars onto corners i have got a few here all right geeks so go ahead and get one placed here there are two positions that can lock inside and out i tend to go with the outside but it doesn't really matter in this build uh, so what you're going to want to do is do that and then you get started with stone pillars. Now if that is touching the ground, you are good in the hood. I can't tell if it is, but I don't think it's actually integral to this build to have it touching the ground. Uh, but uh, that is what we're going to do for now and then we're going to take this up one additional notch. Um, and these are going to support the uh, ceiling we eventually put on. Can I jump now? Yes, I can. Perfect. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and uh, do it in this spot as well. Um, and this is going to frame in the doors on your build. Um, so you really only need, I think, one fence foundation to get it looking the way that I want it looking. Uh, so let's get that placed on the outside. Let's go with one on the corner and one next to it. And then you're Oh, I suppose we got to take those up another notch, uh, but you're going to get something. Oh, that almost messed up. Something looking like that, uh, which those really help frame the place in. And once they're in place, you can actually go up to this fence foundation. Uh, assuming these are touching the ground, it looks as though they are, but they may collapse on me. Fence foundation. Just be sure not to destroy your floor. 
right. Okay, so make sure they're really in the ground. I didn't. <laughs> oh. All right, so if you run into the situation I ran into, just go ahead and place one more pillar at the base of each of these, and now we try again. Fence foundation. All right, that's how it's supposed to work. So make sure your pillars are touching the ground. If it's close, don't pretend they're close enough like I did. You gotta go ahead and make sure. So I'm gonna fix that and I'm gonna repeat this pattern on the other side and then I'm gonna gather the roofs that we need to complete this because I seem to have forgot to bring them. I will be right back with ya. So to do the roof, guys, I just did sloped roof over top of all of this. I didn't think I had to show it to you. Uh, and then I went ahead and completed the pillars we were missing out here. I think you're going to need 12 on each side, roughly, if you built on fairly level ground. Uh, three here, three here, three here, three here, and then same thing on the other side. And then flat ceilings right across the top. It doesn't look perfect. What you get is the ceiling doesn't extend all the way to the edge of that pillar, uh, but I don't yet know of a way to make it do that. Uh, so that's how we're looking right now. My final step is to head home in this fog and grab the bears and then I'm going to I don't think I'll show it to you because wherever you are you're gonna have to do it different but I'm going to encircle this area out front uh, with fences and then I'm gonna put a big dino gate probably the wooden one because this is a pretty rustic build right around here and then we are going to have a little free wandering area for our bears I like it I gotta go get them and make a long and arduous journey over land to get them out this way because I live quite far from here all right, guys, welcome back. Uh, you probably have a few questions. Number one, where are the bears? Number two, why are you wearing such a weird array of armor and zoomed in on your crotch? Um, the crotch zooming is accidental. Uh, but uh, tune in next episode. I tried to make a video of making the journey with the bears, and it didn't go great. So instead, we are going to end this video simply from the dramatic view of this beautiful ranch house. I hope some of all of y'all will build this in your worlds or build something similar. And if you do, tweet me. I'm at Unite the Clans on Twitter. I like to build and I love to see other people's builds, especially when I've had a part in inspiring them. Geeks, that is going to do it. Stop it with the crotch shots for this one. My name is Unite the Clans and I will see you in the next episode.